Oh, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Right, so <laughs> this video I want to um, do about... I've got a cold as well. I'm not 100%. Uh, not I feel a bit stuffy like. But I've just lit myself a small fire there. The uh, plan is today I'm just going to uh, make some lunch. And the lunch is going to be some deer venison. Um, it's been marinating overnight. If any of you seen my post last night, you'll know that... Uh, uh, I was lucky enough to find a fresh uh, roe deer kill, so on the road, um, and wasn't going to pass that up like, so uh, pulled over, still warm, I thought right you're going straight in the boot, put it in the boot, took it in my local woods and um, skin, skinned it the best I could, it was pretty bashed up like, but I managed to get the two hind legs and a front leg off it, all the back straps and that were all knackered, it was all ruptured and that and just totally knackered. They usually are always rough proud when you get them off the road, like all the insides, that's why you gotta get them fresh. If they're still warm, you can use them. If they've been left a day, a couple of days like that, they're knackered normally. Um because the guts is all seeped into the meat and that. Uh but anyway, so I have I've had that marinating overnight. Uh just some cubes. I'm gonna skewer it, put it over the fire like a bit of a kebab like I normally do um, simple simple cooking uh, it's been marinating in all seasoning like all purpose seasoning and a little bit of reggae reggae sauce as well so I'm putting some music in my food today uh, um, and we're going to talk about uh, catapults like for beginners you know um, holdover and like for for the for the novice or the, the beginner starting out who hasn't had a kill yet, who hasn't had the first kill, uh, who's transitioning from targets to uh, hunting, you know, um, just give you some things to consider and some things to to think about really, um, and hopefully it helps you out, um, but it's just putting it all into practice and you know, it's not really something you can learn by someone telling you. You have to practice it anyway. But um, anyway, we'll make a video out of it. And we'll see. Hopefully, I can help you help you out. Right. So I'm gonna get this sorted out first. I'm gonna put my food on the fire so it's just chilling, so, not chilling, um, cooking. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna get that sorted out now because it's the fire's dying, doing enough now. Right. So I'll get it back. Smells amazing. Right, now we're gone. All on there nicely. Right, just uh, done this simple, simple method just for suspending it. Put a V that way, one that way. I'll suspend it over the fire. Put it off centre there. Right, that'll do nicely. Right, YouTube. So, you've been practicing with your catty. You're getting quite good. Before I start this, actually, I just want people to know that I don't class myself as any kind of expert out there. You know, um, I'm I'm not an expert. There's people who've been doing it much longer than me and stuff like that, and um, I'm always open to learn. Uh, so I don't feel like I know it all or nothing like that. But um, I'm just giving you what I've learned. Uh, you know, I tend I think I do read. You know, I, I, I can feed myself easily with my catapult, like, um, so 
Um, this is just some things that I've learned and I can pass on to you and you can take hopefully take something from it. Right, so um so you get first of all before you go on hunting right you want to make sure that you're hitting hitting like say I don't know an inch an inch and a half spinner consistently probably say about you know 78 times out of 10 right then you're getting you're getting quite you're getting quite good then um at around 12 15 yards or something like that <laughs> Right, so you're you're hitting that spinner very consistently, um, and it's just like effortless floaty now, right? You just like that, oh, just one after another, bang. You know, you miss it now and again, but it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, but you're still very close to it, um, and it's it's getting easy for you, right? So what what first of all, what you need to remember is when you're taking a shot at a rabbit. You have to be exactly, you have to do exactly what you've been practicing, right? So what do I mean? I mean, if you're shooting the target, right, you're not really thinking about it anymore. You're just doing it, right? It's all just, everything's aligned. And you're, you're in a relaxed flow state, aren't you? You're just doing it, right? Um, and then, say, you go out and you see a rabbit in front of you. What, what, what people tend to do is they get excited in the you think, oh, I've got you, you know, you know, especially if it's quite close to go, oh, I've got you, I've got you. And they do that and they miss, or they hit it, or they, they wound it badly or something, you know. Because what they're doing is they're not practicing what they've been practicing. They're not in that calm flow state anymore. What they do what they've done is they've went into like a bit of a cocky state, you know, oh, I've got you, I've got you and they they get all excited and you see, that's not what you've been practicing. What you've been practicing is just, right? You know, like when you're shooting a target, right? You're not like, oh, right, right. Oh, I've got you here. I've got you here, mate. Oh, I'm going to hit you. You didn't do that, did you? No, you just, you just aim and you shoot. So that's, that's the first thing that you need, to, you need to remember, right? Is to just remain calm, stay humble, and just... The rabbit's head or the... Pigeon, whatever, is just another target, right? Don't let it get to your head, is what I'm saying. Because it does, you know, it happens to me sometimes even, right? Even now, I'll see a rabbit, right? And it's dead close, and I get cocky. I get cocky with myself, and I go, no, well, I can't miss that. I can't miss that rabbit. It's right there. And I go, no, I've got you in the bag, yeah. And I, sh and I shoot, and I miss. <laughs> and I'm like, eh, hey, what? How, how, did I, how did I miss that? Um... Or sometimes, sometimes I'll tell you another thing that happens. Um, when I start putting pressure on myself, you know, when I'm making a video, sometimes I go on, right, I'm making a video, you know, like I've done the intro and all that, and then I'm like, right, I need to, I need to, sh I need to get something in this video. And I start putting loads of pressure on myself and I, and, I, and, I, and I miss, I miss like loads of stuff. And I'm like, oh, but that's what it is. Cause I'm not practicing what I've been practicing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> You don't put loads of pressure on yourself when you're shooting targets, do you? No, but suddenly when, when there's pressure on you, it's... So you've just got to stay relaxed, right? That's number one. That's the thing I've learned, right? Um, and... Well, I, I said number one there. I'm not going to go into numbers, right? So another thing is holdover, right? So I was asked about holdover in the comments. Um, everyone's different because you kind of give I kind of sit and give a, an, a proper answer on that because it's like there's so many things in it you know it varies in so many ways it's like a huge spectrum you know what I mean and we're all on it uh, everyone's everyone's different so you know some bands are powerful than others if you're shooting heavier ammo obviously it's going to drop quicker uh, like a 10 mil there drops really fast quite fast faster than uh, 11 mil steel does um so you've 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 just got to try whatever setup you're using you've got to know roughly kind of what distance it starts to drop off which you'll see if you just fire it you know you'll see it dropping down um but 
you'll find that if something is, say, like a fence post, you know, at your level, if you're standing upright and something's at your level, say there's a pigeon on a fence post or something like that, the drops, it's going to drop off quicker. You're going to need, I, I feel you need a little bit more height on you when you're shooting like that. Uh, as opposed to if there's a rabbit on the floor, you're shooting kind of downwards like that. It just, you've still got to put drop on it if it's over a distance. So. But it's just, it's it's pretty instinct, instinctive. instinctive uh, you know, it's just uh, intuition, really. I, 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 like, I don't think about like how far away something is or anything like that. I don't, if there's a rabbit right over there in the field, I don't go, right, I need to be about a foot above its head or nothing like that. I just, it just comes to you. You, you know roughly about where, where your ball starts dropping away, so you just go right about there. You know, you just, you just, you just judge it in your, your own way of doing it, and it's just, it's, it just comes naturally, really. Um, it's just something that you need to practice, and like, I couldn't, I couldn't give you like how, you know, how many inches you need to over a certain period of distance. It's not something you can do with that. Everyone's different, like I say, and bands, everything's different. So, I hold over. When something's level to you, it does drop down quicker. Like if you're shooting the top of a fence post, sometimes I do that, you know, or or a, you know, a tree stump or something like that. I'll aim for a spot in a tree stump just to do a bit target practice. And you'll find that when it's level with you, it always drops. You've got to put quite a bit of hold over on it. Um, than if something's on the floor or or why why I'm really good at um, shooting pigeons, right? Why why I, I something I, like I feel like a pigeon's heads and necks smaller than a rabbit, you know what I mean? But I find them quite easy to hit, and the reason for that is. Is because when you're shooting like that, when it's on an angle, you know, like a 45 degree angle or whatever, does you don't have to give it much drop. Obviously, the further away it is, I you do, but it doesn't drop away as quick. So most of the shots, shots, you're just aiming pretty much at it. You're not having to put any hold over on it a lot of the time. Um, so that's why them shots I find are much easier than say a rabbit because a rabbit is it's down on the ground and it's quite far out you've, you've got to think right you've got to line it up first and go like a couple of inches whatever however high you've got to go above it and you know you just see your shot just kind of dropping into it you know and you just hear a crack and you know you've got it um and so i that's all i can really tell you on a uh, holdover really it's just things that you need to learn, but just 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 bear in mind when you're shooting up, like you never want to shoot like that straight up above your head anyway. If you if you're under a tree, say, and you see a pigeon, you want to move back a bit so you so you've got more of a 45 degree angle like that. <coughs> you don't want to be firing straight up because not only is it hard, you can't really. It's very hard to shoot that way, but it's. If it hits a branch and it comes back doing at you, branch has been bendy and it's gonna bounce off a branch and it could hit you like you know it won't be it won't be nice like getting hit hitting the heat or something like that. So and also ammo. Um, pe people are ask like a lot of people's asked us because I know most people do go for a lighter setup. But I prefer a heavier setup, if I'm honest. But it's just personal preference. Um, I like to feel, I like to feel a good pull, you know. Like I, I like to know that there's something there. I guess I don't know. I just prefer a heavier setup. Um, but not only that, the reasons why I prefer a heavier setup is because it's a larger surface area. The ball, um, you know, if if you're hitting a rabbit, you're not gonna. It's gonna do the business, you know. If you hit it anywhere in the kill zone, anywhere really, it's gonna, um, like, I mean, in the jaw even. You know, I've, I've shot rabbits through there, and it's killed them. But if you did that with, say, an eight mil lead or a, or an eight mil steel, uh, it wouldn't take it out. It, the rabbit will run away, and it'll have a hole there, and it'll, <coughs> it'll 
you'll probably die later on, you know, um, which is not what you want. So that's the reason. Um, also, like I, I just you cannot see you cannot see where you're shooting as well half, half the time with a smaller ammo. Um, and I just feel I'm more accurate with a with a larger ball. To be honest, it's the you know the pouch when I hold the pouch, it's I'm holding it like that, like a and it's a bigger ball. And I just find that I get a cleaner release as well. Um, and I can stay more accurate with it. But also what I like about them, 11 mil steel and stuff like that, is when you're shooting over distance, you, you can see them and you can you can see them dropping like that. And so if you're aiming at a rabbit, um, you just you stand there watching your ball go, and you just see it dropping into the, the head of the rabbit and you just hear a crack. You know, and you, you just see the rabbit topple over, you know, it's it's just, it's a bit of a buzz, you know, so, aye. Um, but it's just personal preference. Like I say, um, we're all different. And like bands as well, you know, everyone, everyone likes to know what everyone's shooting and stuff like that, but it is all just personal preference. Um, like I've tried quite a few bands and I do like my GZK green it's just it doesn't it lasts a long time and it doesn't um, you know it's 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 always consistent with us so uh, I prefer that but so when, when obviously when you're trying out a new elastic from your you know one that you used to say like this I'm used to shooting this so if I if I'm if I'm going to try a new elastic it has to either match that in quality in in performance or it has to do better you know and like I say I've, I've, I've bought quite a few bands and um, I've been disappointed with a lot of them you know I've been like watching people online and stuff like that and um, and it works for them but it doesn't work for me you know like uh, Shishu was one of them that white Shishu band uh, I seen a guy who's taking rabbits out, no problem and stuff, and um, I thought, oh, I'll try that. Nice light draw, which he said, I it was a really, really light draw, too, too light for me, and um, I was hitting rabbits and they were just running away, you know, I didn't have the power to take them out. Uh, so I was quite disappointed with that because I bought a full roll of it as well. Um, uh, also the precise gold, I tried that a while ago and no, I couldn't use it. Um, I tried, I've just tried the, the 0.7 black uh, sniper sling, that's that's a really good band, it's really fast, I really like it, but it just snaps too much, you know, it snaps without warning, it's not, it's not really something, um, yeah, especially when you've got a catapult that you've got to tie the bands on yourself and stuff like that, it's not really practical for when you're out hunting, you know, so, like I say, I do like it, but, uh, it has its faults like that so I just something to consider anyway it's just it's all just one big learning journey you know like I say I'm the expert I'm open to learning just as much as anyone is you know but it's just it's all about trial and error with this with the catapult with the catapult game <laughs> Um, I so that's what it's all about but uh, Aye, it's a, it's good, you know, and um, we'll, we'll we'll help each other, and we've got a great community here, and uh, that's another thing I want to say. I want to say thank you to you all because you are all like really, um, you know, really respectful and really decent people uh, in the cat. I've not had any negative comments ever, you know, and you would expect to get a few, wouldn't you? But no, nah, then so. Aye, it's all good anyway. Uh, we're all we're all open to learn and we're all open to help each other, which is great, you know. So, aye, keep it up anyway. <laughs> right, so I can't really think of anything else to say on that, to be honest with you. But I just just get out there and practice. That's all. That's all the advice I can give you. And like I say, with the holdover thing, it's just. You don't. You're not even thinking about it, really. It's just all 
judging it really judging it off you know you know where it's going you, you know when it starts dropping off so you kind of know by the distance like you know what i mean and it's not like you've got a you got a range finder and all that to see what you do you're just judging it you just it's it's totally using your intuition on it it is with me anyway um and you know you, you miss you do miss everyone misses um but when when that shot you know when, when you hit in it you know it's it's a really good it's a good thing <laughs> like you know you get a bit of a buzz and it's like yes you know uh, and you've just filled the pot so anyway i'm i'm uh, i'm gonna start turning this meat now because it looks that fire's dying right down now as well right so i'm, I'm really looking forward to it like that's gonna be tasty as out that <laughs> oh it's looking good like in it slowly getting cooked out like Ooh. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. venison's so rich as well that'll fill me up though all right i'm gonna get tucked into this It's lovely that lake. Mm. Oh my god. Should have looked a bit pink inside, but so juicy. Open the old kills. That was really, really lovely, you know. Oh, just look at that. So good the seasoning's really permeated it as well it's been in the fridge with it all night oh, we're doing that again right usual that's me just heading out the woods now um that was 10 out of 10 that like easily <laughs> that was just so tasty man has filled us just nicely um hi so anyway i hope you've hope i was able to help you out in this one um and happy mooching i guess uh if you've if you haven't yet had a kill yet with a catapult it'll happen you know it will happen and when it does, once once you do it once, you'll do it all the time. You know, because that is all you need is that one bit of confidence to know that you've you've done it before. And so that'll be it. Well you've done it before, so you, have, you can do it again, you know what I mean? It's just confidence, it's um it's the belief in yourself. Once you once you believe that you can do it easily, you'll do it easily. And it'll just keep happening for you. So anyway, I'm not gonna keep waffling on Meg's chasing something. Um I, I'll catch his eye on the next one anyway. Cheers, take care.